everyone, so today I am doing a little makeup tutorial on this look here. I mostly used the Shanexo palette on my eyes and then I did a little bit of a MAC pigment just on the inner kind of middle of my eyelid and I'm so happy with how it looks. I really love it. And this highlighter is so freaking amazing. It's like duochrome. Dark lips, but I also showed you what it looks like with nude if this is not like your cup of tea. I'm actually really stoked with it. I'm often too scared to wear a lip this dark, but I really like how it looks. Everyone always says, you know, don't do dramatic on the eyes and the looks at the same time, but to be honest, I love it. I just love how dramatic it is. It's so cool. Perfect for those of you who are in autumn and going into winter. I mean, it's not a very good spring look, but YOLO, I would wear this anyway. And I have some really exciting news for you guys. I'm so excited. And I can't explain how excited I am. <laughs> like, I'm ridiculously excited. When I found this out, I literally screamed. I was at the hairdresser and I screamed. So I'm guessing most of you will be familiar with Ulta. Basically one of the most amazing makeup stores across the USA. My palette will be online at Ulta in December, just in time for the holidays. So for those of you who shop through Ulta, you'll be able to pick up my palette from there, which is so exciting. This is just like surreal. Like how cool is that? My little palette is going into Ulta. Like that's such a big deal. I don't know if you guys think it is, but I do. I'm really excited. So thank you so much, Ulta. If you've never seen my palette before, this is what it looks like. It is in collaboration with BH Cosmetics and it is basically nine eyeshadows and then nine lip colors on the other side. And sorry, mine's a little bit grubby because I used it a lot. But as you can see, it's still really nice and compact. Like if I compare it to the Shade and Light palette, it is about the same thickness as the Kate Von D palette and then if you compare it to the Kylie palette which I'm so excited for this by the way I'm gonna do a tutorial soon with it but if you compare the eyeshadows that's what they look like size wise so that's how big the palette is it's still nice and compact but you get a really good amount of product as well also we uh, may or may not be launching the palette into stores across the USA and Ulta and if this does go into stores across the USA I may or may not come over and do a massive massive meetup <laughs> So yeah, keep your eye out for it. I will put some more information down in the down bar about like, you know, when it's gonna be online on Ulta and everything like that. Thank you so much, Ulta. It's just like one of my dreams coming true, thanks to you guys. One more thing, I just wanna say that this makeup look that I've created today was inspired by the beautiful by Raquel. Mine is way different, but I just wanted to say this is what like triggered my inspiration. She is just one of my biggest makeup like idols. She is such an inspiration to me. Um, and I saw this makeup look and I just had to do something inspired. But as you can see, hers has a little bit more like purple and color in it, whereas mine's a little bit more like toned down. If you want to learn how I did this look, then just stay tuned. So we're gonna start with our eye makeup today. I am first priming, and this is the Kat Von D Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer. I'm just putting this all over my eye area and then blending it out with my fingers. And then the next step, I'm going to take a fluffy blender brush and my Shinexo palette, and I'm going to take that really pale matte color, and this is just gonna go all over just to set that primer and make a nice even base for our other colors to go on top of. Next up, I'm taking that pale, warm, neutral color, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this into the crease. This is just gonna help us blend the other colors. And then I'm gonna take a eyeshadow brush and the taupe color, and I'm just kind of sloppily patting that all over. It's just my base color, so I'm just smacking it on. I mean, you could stop here if you wanted to. This could be a completed look. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> and then just before I continue my eye makeup, I'm just taking some of the Cerical Pimple Solution and covering up some pimples that I have on my chin. Well, I don't actually have any, but you know, they're kind of underneath. So I'm trying to prevent them from rearing their ugly faces. Now with a pencil brush, I'm taking that really dark kind of charcoal brown color and I'm just applying that to my inner corner and outer edge of my eye, well the inner part of my lid and outer V kind of area and then um, I'm just going to build up that color and keep blending it but first I'm going to apply a different color into the crease. I'm going to use Warm Taupe by Anastasia Beverly Hills just because I really liked the way this color looked with all the other colors I'm using today. You can use whatever you have at home or you can just use a color from the Shanexo palette, just do whatever you like. But yeah, I'm just kind of putting that into the 
the crease kind of on top of that warm color we applied before and I'm just blending all of those colors together um, and then once you have done that I'm going to take that same firm blender brush with a little bit of that really dark color from the Shenexo palette and just build up that inner and outer lid area and also apply a little bit of this color into the crease and just continue to blend now I'm just using a eye makeup remover just to clean up the under eye area and kind of sharpen up that outer corner we can build it all up again Moving on to my base, I'm being so extra today. I did such a full coverage, but I loved how it looked and it just looked beautiful all day long. So first I'm starting with that Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I'm just applying it everywhere apart from on my chin where I've got that, you know, pimple stuff. And then I'm using the All Nighter Foundation by Urban Decay in a flat face brush. And I used a little bit too much, I'm not gonna lie. I ended up wiping off a little bit, but I just cropped that out of the video. Um, and then, yeah, just blending that out. It is a little bit pale for me, but I'm going to be doing lots of cream contouring and bronzing. So for this, I'm using the Iconic London palette and my round eye brush and applying that middle bronzer shade to the, you know, areas of my face which I want to bronze up. So kind of on my cheeks and temples, nose, a little bit on my chin, um, etc etc and then I'm just using that same brush to blend it out I am going to contour using a different shade as well so you know you can use powders if you don't want to use creams but I just really felt like using creams today um, and I really feel like it's a little bit more intense but still natural ish like powders can look really unnatural sometimes whereas this can actually kind of you know look quite realistic because the creams really sink into your skin um, so yeah I'm just packing it on really I'm contouring as well with that little round eye brush and blending it out with the flat face brush Now I'm just quickly cleaning off my round eye brush with my makeup brush cleaner and using one of the pale kind of yellowish shades just under my eyes, down the sides of my nose and up towards my cheekbone and blending that out once again with my flat face brush and this is just going to conceal and highlight. It worked fine to conceal my under eye circles but if you have really bad under eye circles this day or whenever you're, you know, whatever you're doing then just use a different concealer if you prefer. Now I'm using this blur powder by Innisfree and it is so good you guys, I'm really loving it. And I'm just packing that on under my eye area, it doesn't look cakey, it literally like sinks into your skin, it's like butter, it's so good. Um, I'm just setting, yeah, my under eye area but then I just decided to kind of put it everywhere so I'm just putting it everywhere in the end. Now back to the eyes, this is where I introduce the little MAC pigment in Kitch Mask. This is so beautiful. I'm using my eyeshadow brush and I started with it dry just to see how it looked and I decided that I did want it a little bit more intense and wet looking. So I'm spraying some Urban Decay spray on my brush and then just applying a little bit more and that looks a lot better in my opinion. Um, and then I am taking that color once again from my palette and just kind of blending around that area just to make sure it's nice and blended and building up the color a little bit more because you know when you're working with dark colors it's nice just to go slowly and build up the color rather than go all in just so you can you know blend it a little bit easier and everything um, and here I'm just putting a little bit of purple in my waterline and then I'm blending it out with whatever's left on my pencil brush which is like that really dark color from the Shenexo palette just kind of putting that all across the lower lash line right into that inner corner area um, just to make it really smoky you know and then once again cleaning off my brush and highlighting my inner corner with that highlight shade from my palette the shimmery one and I also ended up putting that just on top of kitsch mist just to make it a little bit more reflective like if you haven't tried that eyeshadow from my palette you need to it's the best um, and then I'm taking a black coal eyeliner I put this in my tight line as well so it kind of mixed with that purple on my waterline but it was fine I actually liked how it ended up looking it was just like a really dark purple in the end and then applying lashes these ones I've already used before they are the chic by exo beauty but first putting on mascara roller lash by benefit and every time I use this I remember Remember how much I really like it but for some reason I never reach for it every time I use it I'm like oh it's so good I don't know why I don't use it more often but anyways I just put on some coats of that and then apply my lashes with some duo latex free glue which is my favorite lately it's so good just 
Now doing the brows with my Cabral by Benefit. Loving this. As you guys know, I've just, I don't know, I've just been obsessed with all the new brow products by Benefit. Here's the Gimme Brow as well. Love the stuff. I already want to purchase another one because mine is already starting to run out because I use it every day almost. Um, so yeah, just applying those. And then I am going to go back in with my eyeshadow palette and take that matte color we used right at the beginning and just sharpen up underneath my eyebrows just to highlight a little bit with my eyeshadow brush. Now to highlight, I'm taking Celestial by Makeup Geek. This is one of their new highlighters and it's so pretty. It's like duochrome, it's so stunning. Um, so I'm applying that with a shimmer tulip brush, but I did end up using a little bit of my Shining Soda palette as well, just because it's a little bit brighter. I wanted it a little bit brighter, so stacked that right on top. Now the last step is lips. So first I'm just going to show you what it looks like with nude. I'm just applying that colour from my palette with my finger. You can use a lip brush if you want more colour payoff. Um, they're actually quite pigmented with a lip brush but when you apply them with your finger they're quite buildable. Um, and they've got a texture like a creamy lipstick. Kind of like a cream sheen by MAC. Kind of like that kind of texture. So that's what it looks like with nude if a dark lip is a little bit too much for you. Which is totally fair enough for me. Usually it would be as well. But with this look for some reason I just really love it. So I'm using Potion by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just carefully applying this because it's so dark and you can't just slap it on like I normally do with lipsticks. You have to be so careful but if you screw up you can always go back in with a concealer and just sharpen it up a little bit but I just applied it um, as best as I could first of all and then what I did was I went in with a lip liner and I'm just using one by Sleek today. This is called Raisin and I'm just kind of sharpening it up afterwards and it worked really well. It looked really good. If you don't want to use a lip liner, just go back in with the liquid lipstick on a smaller brush and you'll be able to apply it a little bit more precisely than, you know, the applicator that it comes with. Usually it's fine, it's just that this is such a dark color that it shows up every imperfection. So that's the completed look. I am so, so happy with it. Thanks, Brookal, for the inspiration. I really want to try it more with a colorful eye next time as well. Like, more like what she did, because it was just so beautiful. I loved it, I'm obsessed. I haven't been so obsessed in a long time. But anyway, I hope you guys liked my video, and if you did, please thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!